Porn is a multi-billion dollar business, making more money than Hollywood. But today, it's an industry in turmoil. In a world of free content, the old studios and distributors are struggling to make ends meet. They're being replaced by a new breed of entrepreneurial performer. Can I ask what you're doing? I'm coming. You're coming live right now? Right now. And how many people are watching you come right now? 3,000 people. 3,000 people. 3,000 people see my nipples. This is CamComp, a massive annual convention for the huge and growing industry called Camin. Cameras connect directly with their customers online and perform personalised sex shows for a price. What's up, man? How you doing? I meet Spencer and his partner, Chloe. She has 178,000 followers on her, uh, wow. her website. Are you rich off of this? $150,000 a year for a 19-year-old girl is a lot of money. 100, so they make 115 grand a year? Yeah. You're looking at her? You make 115 grand a year? I don't make 150 grand a year, and I'm thinking about it. Like, I can well, get me on I some mean, cab. You got good skin. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be making content while you're here? Uh, yeah, we're always making content. We're always making money. That's the whole thing. And where do you make content while you're here? I'll make it in my room. We've got a really beautiful room upstairs. And you can show us that stuff? We'll see. Yeah. Do you think that webcam is going to be bigger? Yes. technology goes I on think so. I mean, everyone I talk to now, like, only watches the amateur porn. So... Why, why is that? I don't know. I'm not, like, a sociologist, but my yeah, guess yeah, yeah. would be, you know, now that we have smartphones, we're able to do it. We weren't able to provide that content before. You know, you, you needed a director and a videographer and an audio person, but now we're able to just film everything on our smartphones. So maybe it's that everyone always wanted it and now it's just available, I don't know. Tonight, Spencer's invited me to see a live camming session in his room. That's a question. Yeah. Does it feel strange? Knowing that, like, I might see your wife do some sexual stuff, right? Not at all, no. Because when you, well, I would say if you saw her on Twitter, you'd be like, goodness, what did I just see? Yeah, but in person, though. Because I guess oh, no, it, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother you. No, trust me. It hasn't bothered me with you or, like, 50 other guys in a room. Mm. <laughs> Chloe's doing a girl-on-girl -girl scene. Every chime means another cash tip from a punter. Do I do butt stuff? Of course I do butt stuff. Who doesn't? <laughs> Thank you so much, Arta. Thank you. Hi, John. Hi, everybody. Thank you. Do people say mean shit? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, to say the least. I mean, my Twitter just got suspended two days ago. And I don't say anything that's inflammatory or in any possible. I'm a total <laughs> politician. What the fuck is going on? That's the best sign you can hear. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. How much was that? Uh, that was 50 bucks. Damn. 1,000 tokens. So that's a lot of nickels. <laughs> mm. So we How made, much you make? Yeah, so. We just made 200 bucks. Do you feel empowered doing this? Absolutely. Uh, ultimately, yeah. It's totally spiritually gratifying as well. This is. When you think about it, it's instant gra gratification. Do you know what I'm saying? It's that in it's instantaneous of someone giving you approval. It's sort of like uh, it is kind of a step up from what people feel when they get a like on Instagram. Because it's actually a monetary, because I like it's just a free thing. It's like, oh, I like that. It's, it doesn't cost me anything to do that, but to actually send money is a sort of a, a sense of approval. And it must be fucking addictive, man. If it's anything like what I feel when I do comedy, it must be addictive.